Remember, safety first. Don't forget an adult and to get any safety equipment you may need for today's experiment. Hi, and welcome to Pop Bang Fizz, Stupendous Science. I'm Miss Amelia from the St. Charles Public Library, and today we're going to be experimenting with solar power. And more importantly, we're going to be creating our very own solar power oven so we can make our own s'mores. Stay tuned for your supply list so we can get started. So let's get started. You're going to need your box and an X-Acto knife and some scissors. So you might need an adult to help you with this part right here. This particular box has a flap on the side that's glued down. So I just need to run my finger along the side and peel that up. Okay. But the other side doesn't. So I'm actually going to have to cut a little bit off of that. I'm going to use my scissors. I'm going to cut down just a little bit on this flap. And I want to go about halfway down. And then I'm going to cut a line all the way down this side. Now I can see, I'm going to have to cut a little part right here so it'll fold up. Now, once you fold this part of the box back in, which is kind of my favorite part about this, these have little parts that just needed to fold in. You now have a box that opens and shuts. And just like a pizza box, it has a little flap here that can tuck in. Now, the thing that I did to my box is I actually flipped it inside out so that you can color on the cardboard. That's really easy too. We can just tape everything back together. So this particular box, you can see it has little, um, little pieces that fold in. I can just undo those. All right, now my box is laying flat. Just going to flip it around. And you can see here, once I flip it around, I'm just folding these pieces back in. And when I'm all done folding, I'm gonna rebend everything. I'm gonna put some duct tape on the corners to hold it together. All right, now the next part is that you need to cut open the window part. So you can see right here, after I put all the tape on, you cut down towards the opening, you cut across, and then you're gonna cut right back up to the top. You don't wanna cut it all the way off. You wanna make sure that the flap can open and shut, but that it's still attached. I'm going to go ahead and put on the duct tape on my corners. I just reinforced them so my box stays shut and then I'm going to cut open the lid for you guys. Ta-da! Now would be a good time for you guys to decorate your box if you want to markers, stickers, anything you can think of. My little scientist used markers and colored his top of the box just like this. But you can do whatever you want. Next, what you need to do is take a piece of black construction paper and fit it into the bottom part of your box. My piece of paper is a little big, so I'm gonna have to trim it down. I'm not measuring anything out. I'm just kind of folding the paper into the bottom. Once I kind of squish it down, I have a nice little line to cut along, so I can do that. I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna pop it right into the bottom. You can leave this if you want, this little flap right here. You can cut it off, whatever you want. And then I just tape everything down to the bottom. So I actually use scotch tape for that part, but you can use duct tape, that's fine too. Okay, the 
The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we add the plastic wrap to the inside here and that we cover this part with foil so that it can reflect the sun and help heat up our oven. So we'll take a piece of plastic wrap. Doesn't have to be very big. And we don't want it to double up. So you can just lay it down on top. I like to start taping at the top, then I can work my way down and cut off this, the plastic wrap at the bottom. You can use scotch tape, absolutely. I actually might if I can't get this to tear right. <laughs> so you see I just put one piece on the top. I'm going to fold my sides in just a little bit. I did not make a perfect seal all the way around but I used a couple pieces on the side and one on the top, top and bottom. Now as you can see I have a lot of extra parts on the bottom. Just gonna take my scissors, cut it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see if I can show it this way. All right, so there's our window part. And then next, we need to cover this part with foil. You want to make sure you use the shiny side so you have more reflection. You don't want to use the dull side. Shiny side out. stability when you're working with this. I'm going to slide it right in here and I actually, might be easier if I show it this way, fold mine over. I don't have to worry about cutting anything. Fold it over again. And then I folded it back. Now I only need to use one piece of tape to tape it down right there. You can use a couple if you want, no big deal. And last but not least, looking for my thing, you need something to prop open your solar oven door. So you can use a pencil, you can use a a skewer, a wooden skewer if you have something around the house. We just used an unsharpened pencil that we had and it works perfect. You can see, one, it already kind of sets open by itself, but it's nice. You can put, I kind of set the pencil right here into the corner, use the eraser end on the top, then you got it folding open your oven. So now that we've made our solar oven, what do we do with it? You make s'mores, of course. Got our s'more supplies right here. Got our chocolate, our graham crackers, and our marshmallows. Now, take my prop open here. I'm gonna open up my s'mores box. I like to set down just one graham cracker. And I'm gonna take one bar of chocolate, standard s'mores making. And I actually have the flat marshmallows because my box is not very deep and I wanted to make sure that nothing was going to touch uh, the top of the box once I closed it. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you can see when we close it up, I make sure to tuck in one side. I'm gonna make sure you close your box. Make sure that marshmallow is right in the middle. I kind of tried to tuck this part in to create more of a seal here. Prop up. that 
And now you're ready to go. You just need to find a nice sunny spot outside on a warm day. There are lots of different ways that you can experiment with this and see what do you think is going to happen? Is the chocolate going to melt? Is the marshmallow going to melt? How long do you need to leave it out there for everything to melt? How hot does it have to be outside? Does, if it's really, really hot or, but it's overcast, can you still make a s'more? You need to experiment. This is a great way to tell mom and dad why you have to make more s'mores. <laughs> Thanks for watching Pop Bang Fizz Stupendous Science. I hope you guys enjoyed our experiment today and I hope you get a chance to make lots and lots of solar oven s'mores this summer. Check back on Fridays for new videos or subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about science and you have a library card, don't forget to check out our online resource, Science Flicks. It's on the library website or you can check the link in the description below. Thanks! Bye!